afternoon. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to look at one of the nicest 2001 model Bonanza A36s available anywhere. This airplane is very well equipped, very low time, and is in outstanding condition. Let's take a look. The total time on 136 Gulf Hotel is only 1,218 hours since factory new. The engine only has 793 since a complete top overhaul with new cylinders. This is also a special edition engine. The special edition engines are balanced and blueprinted, they're more expensive, and they come with a longer warranty than a regular engine. You'll notice the engine also has GAMI fuel injectors. It has a BNC standby alternator system. And this has a JPI EDM 700 graphic engine monitor to monitor all of your cylinders. In addition to that, the baffles are in great condition and you can almost eat off this engine, it's so clean. 136 Golf Hotel has a three blade Hartzell prop that has a heated prop segment to keep you out of inadvertent icing conditions. 136 Golf Hotel is equipped with VGs. VGs lower your stall speed and make this a safer airplane. Just in case there's a decrease in speed due to the VGs, the airplane also is equipped with flap and aileron gap seals, the speed kit. 136 Golf Hotel has always been hangered. The paint is in almost new condition. The colors are regimental blue, which is a real deep blue, and gold metallic stripes. Very beautiful condition. In addition, this is a factory air-conditioned airplane, and it's equipped with the G&D tinted window inner panes to keep the airplane cooler in the summertime and insulate it more in the winter. The tail on 136 Golf Hotel is in great condition. You won't see any helpings or any damage on the tail, no corrosion. You notice the VGs, this airplane could get a gross weight increase of about 100 pounds with an STC that goes with those VGs, but that's not included uh, in the weight and balance in this airplane at the present time. 136 Golf Hotel is equipped with the large cargo doors and club seating. Let's take a look at this beautiful interior. November 136 Golf Hotel has a beautiful leather interior. This interior looks brand new, but I don't think it's ever been replaced. Look at the condition of the seats, and the side walls and cabin table, and the windows and the leather headliner. The colors are also gorgeous. You have plenty of room back here. I'm almost six feet tall and I've got plenty of headroom. I've got plenty of leg room. And it's almost like sitting in an easy chair in my living room. By the way, these seats are reversible with no tools. You can turn these center seats around forward facing with no tools and you can take the rear seats out in about 30 seconds again with no tools. It's a very flexible cabin. Over 136 Golf Hotel has an outstanding instrument panel with a lot of fantastic equipment. Let's take a look. Starting on the pilot side, we have a true airspeed indicator. And then we have your artificial horizon, and you'll notice this houses your flight director, and then an encoding altimeter. On the second row, we have your instrument air gauge, and then your turn coordinator, and then your King KCS-55A slaved HSI. The airplane is also equipped with an instantaneous vertical speed indicator. On the next row, we have a carbon monoxide detector, and then we have your number two uh, nav indicator, and this is the indicator for your number two GPS or your number two nav. In the center, we have a switch that controls your active traffic. This has the 9900BX active traffic. Beside this, we have a standby attitude indicator, and this is electric. Now let's take a look at your avionics stack. At the top, we have a PS Engineering PMA 7000 MS audio panel with your three light marker beacons and a six-place built-in intercom system. Below this, we have your autopilot. This is the King KFC 225 autopilot flight director slaved HSI system. And this also has altitude and vertical speed pre-select plus yaw damp for a smoother ride. 
This is your number one NAVCOM GPS moving map display. This is a Garmin 530W, and this is equipped with WAS. You'll notice it has several different pages. Another map page. This has your active traffic displayed. It also has your storm scope display, your terrain display, and this will show red since we're on the ground, and then your information pages and your satellite pages. Incidentally, your traffic and your storm scope will show up in three different places. It will also show up on your number two NAVCOM GPS. This is a Garmin 430W with WAS, and this has all of the pages that showed up on your G530 uh, with WAS. To the right side of the instrument panel, we have your JPI EDM700 graphic engine monitor. And this is your data download port for your graphic engine monitor so you can download it to a laptop and see exactly what's been going on with your engine. Below this, we have a Garmin GMX200 multifunction display. And this has chart view. It has VFR and IFR charts and approach plates. It also shows your WXI satellite weather and your storm scope and active traffic will also show up here. Below this we have a King KT-76C transponder. Now let's take a look at the pilot's control wheel. In the front we have a mic or push to talk button and you have one on both wheels on this airplane. Then we have your autopilot disconnect button and then we have a button for your control wheel steering. This syncs your flight director with whatever attitude you're holding and also allows you to temporarily override the autopilot. The airplane is equipped with electric trim and this is your electric trim switch. In the center of the yoke is a control wheel clock. This also serves as a flight timer and a timer for timing approaches. On the right side of the wheel we have a map light uh, this puts a light in your lap, a light in your outside air temperature gauge, and a light in your compass. Beside this is a transponder ident button, so you don't have to reach over to the transponder when they ask you to ident. You can do it right here on the control wheel. And then we have an audio playback switch that will play back uh, about a minute of your last ATC clearance in case you forget what they said. It also allows you to move this forward and clear your storm scope. The airplane is equipped with a vertical card compass system. And also note how clear the windows and windshield are. The windows are in fantastic condition. It's also equipped with rose and sun visors. And this is a great STC for the Bonanza. The airplane is equipped with mic jacks for six place intercom system. But it also is equipped with four Bose headset jacks that are noise canceling built in the airplane. In addition to this, it has a music input jack for uh, MP3 players or an iPod, something like that, and that will play through your intercom system to your passengers. The airplane is also equipped with a couple unique features that you rarely see on Bonanzas. This has a battery kill switch for anti-theft purposes. And I'm not going to show you where that is, but it has a switch that will disable your battery so that the airplane cannot be started unless you turn the switch on. Uh, in addition to that, it has an audible gear warning system. If you get below a certain airspeed uh, and the gear is in the up position, it warns you, it says, gear warning, gear warning, very loud instead of just a gear horn beeping. In addition to that, if your gear is down and locked, it tells you landing gear down and locked in an audible message. So it's a great safety system for this airplane. If you want one of the nicest, low time, prime condition Bonanza A36s, you need to visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina and see November 136 Gulf Hotel. This airplane is equipped with the King KFC 225 Autopilot Flight Director Slaved HSI system with altitude and vertical speed pre-select and yaw damp for a smoother ride. It's equipped with factory air conditioning. It has VGs. It has the aileron and flap gap seals for a speed mod. It has the special edition engine, and it has a complete Garmin package of avionics, including a Garmin 530W with WAS, 430W with WAS, 
a Garmin GMX 200 multifunction display with WSI satellite weather. It has active traffic, the 9900BX, and it has a storm scope. Uh, it also has terrain and chart view and a lot of fantastic equipment. So much equipment that it's really hard to mention here. Come visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina, or give us a call at 336-665-0300 and be sure to visit carolinaaircraft.com to see this beautiful A36 Bonanza and all of our other nice Bonanzas and Barons. Have a great day.